Hey my loves, welcome back to Between Us Tarot. I hope you guys are having a really good morning or day so far whenever you guys um, get to watch this video. And yeah my loves, um, I changed up the setup a little bit. I went this morning to go shopping and I got some stuff that I didn't need to spend money on. <laughs> but I was like, oh, everything looks so cute. Um, so we have this little cute, look at him, he's so cute. It's a little fox. Oh, I love him. Um, yeah, so he's just going to be chilling there <laughs> throughout the reading. I thought, I'm like, oh, he's so cute. You can't really see him in the camera, but that's okay. He's so cute. Um, but yeah, as you can see by the title, we are going to be looking at uh, your person's current thoughts and feelings about you and this connection, okay? So I feel like I should get closer to the piles. Give me one second, my loves. I don't, maybe you won't see the fox um, during the reading. Is that better? I think that's a little bit better for you guys. Um, yeah, so let's see. So we have three piles. So we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. So pile one, we have this beautiful um, red carnelian. Pile two, so I don't know the name of this crystal, but it's so cute. It's green and it has like dark green like specks in it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But yeah, it's tiny. He's cute. So I like this one. It's cute. And then pile three. Again, I don't know the name of this one either. <laughs> I'm horrible. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, yeah, if you guys know what this or these two are, let me know. Um, but this one looks like the shark tooth crystal. It looks like the shape of a shark tooth. So we're just going to call it the shark tooth crystal, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're getting a uh, call to more than one pile, please feel free to um, pick more than one, okay? You don't just have to pick one. You may have messages in more than one pile. So yeah, my loves, I'll give you guys a few seconds to do that. And with that, let's get into your reading. So, let's start with pile one. All right, pile one. So, for you guys that chose this beautiful red carnelian, let's see how your person is feeling about this connection and you. So we're starting off with the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Then we have the Ten of Swords, the Hermit, and the Hierophant. And let me get the bottom of your deck. Okay, I'm gonna be looking at that energy. Beautiful energy in this pile. We have Chivalry. Oh, I like that. Okay, okay. Denial. Okay, well, you guys know I talk about them after, so we'll we'll go ahead and talk about that afterwards. And I may need to scoot this back so you, you guys can see everything. Um, yeah, and we will be, um, if we have to clarify anything, we'll be clarifying with the mermaid tarot. I'm so obsessed with that um, deck right now, the mermaid one, <laughs> that you guys have been probably seeing me use in my last videos because um i just i love it so much it's so it's so oh i didn't mean to do that i'm sorry my loves give me one second while i get adjusted here i feel like and you can kind of see my mic <laughs> let's hide her okay there we go all right my love so what is going on with your person how are they feeling um what are their current feelings towards you in this connection Okay, so you know what it is, or you know what I'm getting um, for a lot of you guys, pile, pile one, is, first of all, something's happening here. A huge change is happening, and the reason why I want to point that out right away is you have three tens reoccurring um, in your pile. So you have ten of pentacles, ten of swords, and you have 
the number 10 on this destiny card okay so right away you know what i'm seeing overall i'm going to get into what your person's feeling and their current their current um current feelings and thoughts about this connection but you know what i'm getting overall is your person is um, there's this huge change that's happening in your relationship okay in your connection right now whether you are in a relationship or not with this person um huge change coming and it is so beautiful i feel like you guys are about to blossom to the next level if you guys pick this pile pile one um i'm definitely seeing that so i'm just gonna tell you right away if you don't feel like that's what's happening in your situation right now this is probably not your pile but um Oh my god and you're also pile one so it's like you're gonna begin a new cycle soon a better cycle i shouldn't be using the word cycle but it's like you guys are gonna step into a new path soon together i do see that um so let's get into your tarot oh my god i love this already what the heck okay so if we begin with your tarot let's see we have the ten of pentacles so right away what i'm seeing is your person you know, when it comes to you and this connection, specifically you, they look at you like you're a sense of home to them, okay? They're, they're, your person, you make them feel very safe is what I'm getting, um, for sure. So, you make them feel safe, you make them feel secured in this connection, whether there's been, um, I don't know if there's been mistakes or someone got hurt. Someone definitely got hurt here. I, I am just going to clarify that. We have the Ten of Swords here, okay? So some something happened, okay, definitely in this connection. Something happened. Um, and it's like you guys are able to overcome this. We have the Chariot, or the Chariot. Why did I say that? <laughs> Um, <laughs> you have the, the six of wands here, okay? So it's like you guys are able to overcome anything. Um, I'm getting so many messages with this. This is our underlying energy, you guys, but I'm getting so many messages with the six of wands, which I'm going to get to, but you guys are coming out victorious, you and your person. Um, so if you guys haven't been seeing that, I, I am seeing that the old stuff is finally dying, pile one. This is so beautiful. This is so, so, so nice. Um, your, your person sees you as a sense of home. Like, you know, when we say like, oh, I want to go home, like that, that phrase, um, it's not like you're, it's, it's almost like when you guys say that, you guys think of each other, um, you guys are each other's home. I hope that's making sense, my loves. It, like, you guys are each other's safe spot, safe place. You know that they understand you and you know that, uh, or they know that you understand them as they are. Um, oh my god, yeah, this is so nice. Your person, also what I'm seeing is right now currently how they're feeling is they want to provide security for you, whatever form of that security is. For a lot of you guys, your person wants commitment with you. Um, if you guys are already in, in a connection, already in a relationship, your person wants like the next level of commitment, whatever that may be. Um, wow. So many messages coming through, Pile One. How intense are we starting this reading? I'm going to go ahead and move my little feather. It can hang out with the little baby fox. Um, okay. What I'm also seeing, you guys, is right now, okay, because you know how I, I opened up the reading with what I saw first. Because um, I do shuffle these cards out. My loves, obviously, they're pre-shuffled. Um, you know, I already put the piles together or whatever, but, um, I don't pay attention too much to the cards, so I just put them all together and I'm like, okay, let's start recording. And this is so crazy that you have three tens and I, I, that's exactly what I'm feeling. The message that's coming through from spirit is that, um, yeah, some, the old icky stuff is ending. Like I'm finally seeing that. This is so nice. This is pile one. You guys are going to be so happy. Like, if you're not feeling that sense right now, I want you guys to know that that this is um this is turning. It's like the wheel is turning finally in your favor, pile one. So keep your heads up, keep going, because I do see that some of you guys may still be in this Ten of Swords energy. Not a lot of you guys, but some of you guys are still in that energy. Don't, don't stay in that energy, because the 3D is really fooling you, pile one. 
um, or if you guys have been having any doubts in this connection, I don't see that you have to. Something beautiful is happening here. Um, we do have the Hermit and the Hierophant though, okay? So with the her Hermit and the Hierophant is, you know, for some of you guys, this is going to be leading up to a marriage between you and this person. Um, if that's what you want, if that's not something that you want, then completely ignore that message. You're not going to manifest something that you don't want. Um, I am seeing that right now there's still a lot. Of, so there's lessons still being learned, okay? Whether it's for you or your person. I'm, get, I'm sensing for a lot of you guys it's your person. But someone is going through a deep transformation. It's like the, their old self. It could be both of you guys or just this connection in general. But um, someone or something is, is changing. Okay, I definitely see that. Because with the Hierophant card, again, I do see that lessons are being learned. And, and look what it's leading to. It's just, it's so beautiful. So with the Hermit card right now, I do sense that for a lot of you guys you may not even be aware because your person's not telling you this. Um, you know, a lot of the times when we go through a transformation, it's so like, <laughs> sometimes it's hard going through transformation and changes. It's so hard. So, um, and a lot of us may not even understand what's going on. And so I see if, you, if this is your person that's undergoing the transformation, which I sense for a lot of you guys, it is, um, they don't 100% understand it. They're like, why am I wanting to change? Um, why do I feel this way about my pile one? Like, they're questioning why when they don't have to. You know, it's a little silly. I am picking that up. But, um, but this is what they're going through. So a lot of them are staying quiet. For our underlying energy, like we were saying, we have the six of wands. So I'm getting a lot of messages with that card. For some of you guys... For some of you guys, I am getting that you could be in the public eye, okay, for sure. You guys don't have to be, but some some sort of public eye. So you guys may have an Instagram, a Facebook, um, some type of platform, anything where your person sees you rising, okay? I definitely see that. Um, for others of you guys, I'm getting that your person... <laughs> <laughs> this is really cute. Your person wants you to see them. Your person wants you to be proud of them, basically. <laughs> and you know what? This is beautiful energy. This is why, this is one of the reasons for you guys that's, that are resonating with that message. Your person, that's one of the reasons why they're going through this transformation is because they want you to see them like this. Um, like... <laughs> Like, they have all, you know, like, they have it all together. Um, this is so beautiful. Yeah, they want you to, they want you to be proud of them is what they want you to be, or how they want you to see them. They want you to definitely be proud of them. Um, and as well, I do see that you guys are coming out victorious from whatever situations or obstacles that were in this, um, in this connection because I do see that there were some obviously we have the ten of swords we also have this denial card that's really screaming out to me because it says denial I acknowledge my fear but I replace it with the insight of awareness so this is exactly what your person is feeling this is what they're going through is they're no they're coming out of denial right now I do sense that for a lot of you guys your person's right here in the hermit in the hermit mode they're reflecting they're thinking about how they want to change who they want to become um you know to show up for you in this connection and again so now they're going to come out of this denial they're no longer denying their feelings um it says, I acknowledge my fear. So for a lot of them, you know, they were scared before. They're probably still scared right now. But it says, but I replace it with the insight of awareness, which is so powerful because what your person is going to start doing, right, with this whole change that's going on, is they're starting to, like, be aware of their feelings and be in tune with them. Um, for a lot of you guys, your person has to go through that so that they can heal from whatever this was. If this wasn't a disruption in your connection, it could have just been disruptions in their past connections that they still need to heal from in order to move forward. Okay, let's look at the top of the deck energy. Oh, <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, mm -hmm. I love that. 
Wow. You know what? For the first time in like forever, I don't feel the need to clarify anything, Pio One. Because you guys, if you guys are regulars and come back, you guys know I usually clarify some cards, but I'm getting the full picture here. It's so beautiful. Um, the King of Cups is here as your crowning energy, okay? So we're just gonna, you can't see him, so I'm gonna put them there. But he is our crowning energy right now. So whoever your person is, Pio One, Please know that right now, their feelings are super duper strong. Um, and not just right now, they've been feeling this, but it's like right now it's really strong because their old self is ending again. There's this huge transformation that's taking place. I do sense it's within your person and this connection to all together so that you guys can start something new. Your person has so much love. Sorry, I was getting a call. Um... If you guys heard something vibrate, <laughs> that was getting a call. Your person has so much love for you with this King of Cups here. Um, for a lot of them, they could have a hard time showing it because, again, I do see that there was denial in the past. Um, maybe there's still a little bit of denial right now, but again, your person's coming out of that. They're no longer going to be in that... Um, in that phase anymore and I'm actually really happy for you guys I'm actually excited to see what's what's happening um, or like where this is gonna go I already see where it's going it's going towards something beautiful but yeah I, I'd love to see change this is cute I love it overall energy is this queen queen of pentacles so you know what is what I'm seeing my loves is the this connection is really being nurtured okay pile one uh I do sense that maybe some of you guys were worried, Pio One. Please don't be. I'm telling. This is reassurance from the universe to not be. Um, there's something that's like being taken care of in this connection. It, it is being nurtured. This is also representing you, and this is the overall energy. Like your person feels your energy, Pio One. Um, you are very nurturing. You like to take care of this connection, this person. And you're someone that's given a lot. Okay. If this isn't your energy, Pio One. Um, I always like to say these these energies can be reversed, okay? So, yeah. So, just take it however it resonates. I can be talking about you that's watching Pio 1 or your person. So, just note that. But, yeah. This is, this is so beautiful. Um, you guys are really overcoming some big stuff, you guys. It's, it's crazy. <sighs> Woo, Pio 1. Let's get into your oracle. Okay, so the first card that we got here is Chivalry. Oh my goodness. What did you do to this person, Paola? <laughs> How cute. Okay, give me one second. All right. So with the Chivalry card being here, you know what I'm sensing is your person really wants to charm you. Like... What was I saying, like, before, for a lot of you guys, your person wants you to be like, oh, my God, like, that's my man or, like, that's my girl um, type of vibe. That is what your person, your person wants to wow you. Um, yeah, I that's such a strong message, you guys, by the one. Like, your person wants you to look at them like, I don't want anyone else in the world because I have it all with my person. Um, they, they want to show up like this for you. Makes sense because we have the six of wands, we have the king of cups, and we have the ten of pentacles. They, they want you to know that they, they are becoming this person. They're working really hard to come towards you in this energy. You know, with the chivalry card being here, or like a person that is in that, in that vibration, especially for a male figure, um... I'm going to talk about a male figure, but pile one, please, if you're dealing with a woman, uh, just, you know, take it as it resonates. But if we are talking about um, a male here, you know, what I'm, I'm like, what I'm seeing is like someone that like opens the door for you. Simple little things like that. They open their car door for you. They open doors for you. They um, pull out your chair when you're about to sit down at a restaurant. Um, they bring you flowers. They send you flowers, stuff like that. Um, it's like your person, you know what I'm getting with that? It's like night, night, I can't talk, <laughs> sorry, night of cups vibes. Um, that is what I'm getting. They are really going to wow you, pile one, your person with this. After this whole transformation is over, you're going to be like, who the hell are you? <laughs> and you know what, pile one, not that your person wasn't like this. I sense that your person was always very 
they had a sense of um, romanticism in them, okay? Um, and they did show up for you like this here and there. Maybe some of them couldn't show you that full side of them due to money matters if, you know, they want to show you more or they want to give you more materialistic things. Um, but your person's working hard, I'm getting incensed in every area so that they can come towards you. Also, it's not even about materialistic things, Pile One. You know what I'm getting also is that your person is becoming someone that's not afraid to show their feelings. And the reason why I'm getting that is there is, you know, he has these pink roses, right? And then he's wearing one on, like, by his heart in his little pocket here. And that to me is just sensing that this person is balancing out his masculine and feminine energies. Because sometimes, pile one, like, sometimes we're too in our masculine and then sometimes we're too much in our feminine, right? Um, like, I'm just going to call myself out. Sometimes I am too much in my feminine and I have to balance out both my masculine and my feminine. <laughs> I'm getting a lot better at it, but yeah. Um, but th that's just an example. But this person here, you know, if they weren't showing their feelings, you know, sharing feelings, that is a feminine quality. That's what we call being in our feminine, not being afraid to do that or to express them. And this person is changing into somebody like this, especially with the King of Cups, okay? Because the King of Cups being here as a crowning energy, your person is definitely feeling these emotions. Maybe they're just not saying them yet, but they are, they're going to wow you, pile one. Your person is going to wow you, <laughs> once this transformation's over. And again, Pile One, I, I need you guys to understand that transformation takes time. This is not um, this is not a sort of thing where, okay, your person's going to change in like a week or two or a month. Transformation is different for everyone, okay? So um, Pile One, this, first of all, this this pile is beautiful. I just, I can't, I don't have words. Um, I'm really happy for you guys. Okay. So I want you guys to be happy, but also, um, don't expect it to come uh, like super duper fast. Okay. Be patient with your person still. Um, your person's thoughts and feelings currently are so beautiful and, um, they're working on it. Okay. You still have to be patient because you know, what's so funny when I'm, oh my God, spirit is really coming through. I love it is we have the hermit card here and this is a number nine okay you have three tens so your person is one step away from accomplishing that 10 i do sense that for a lot of you guys your person is right here step number nine once they're at step number 10 it's that's when the transformation happens and you know they shed all the icky stuff and and blossom into what their heart really is, what their soul really calls them to do. My God, Pile One, what the heck? Okay, <laughs> let's keep going. So, yeah, so just on that whole realm of, um, you know, being patient. And I don't want you guys to get upset about that because sometimes in the comments, people are like, oh my God, I've been waiting for years. I totally get when people like, yeah, if you've been waiting for like, 20 plus years, stuff like that. That's totally up to you. Um, cause I did see like a comment like that one time. Um, which, yeah, that's, that's a long time. I, I'm not saying that this is going to take 20 plus years. No, 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 no. Um, like I'm saying you're going to see a change by the end of this year for sure. Um, time goes by so fast too. So yeah, my loves, we also have the destiny card here. Okay. So, um, pile one again, you know, I feel like some of you guys, whoever's watching you guys have had, um, it could very well be my feminine in this energy. Again, I'm not, when I say feminine, I don't mean female, but, um, whoever my feminine energy is here, I do see that you guys have been like worrying, uh, again about this connection or, you know, are we meant to be? Yes, you guys are meant to be. This is definitely reassurance. This is, yeah, you guys are destined to be together, pile one. Okay. Um, so please know that. So I only meant to pull one, but you guys got two. So I took them both. So let's read them. So we have wolf spirit. It says heart medicine. Let go of that, which does not serve your highest good. 
Okay, and then we have Spider, Dreamweaver. So we have Tune, it says, Tune into the energetic gr grids around you. Where can you send your energy for healing? Tune into the energetic grids around you. Where can you send your energy for healing? Oh my gosh, Pile One, I absolutely love, you know what I'm seeing? Because this card is pink, and this is more like gray-black, okay? What I'm seeing is, um, Pile One, I'm wondering, I feel like you guys have been sending healing vibrations to your person. That, and also your person just finds you very healing, okay? Um, yeah, they find you very, very healing, Pile One. It's like, you know what I'm sensing is like, after they've had like a long day at work or school or studying whatever they're doing or even if they just had a chill day um when they get to like talk to you or communicate with you however they communicate with you it is very healing for them it's like it refreshes them in some way so if they were having a bad day and like they get on the phone with you or they text you and it could just be a couple messages it doesn't matter like when they talk to you they just like feel like rejuvenated um, yeah, that message is coming out very strongly for some of you guys. It's almost like my feminine energy has my masculine energy trapped, not in a bad way, because this is a web, right? So spiders, they like trap things in their web. <laughs> so I'm not, but again, it's not like a sense of controlling or anything. It's just like they want to be with you in this web. <laughs> They're the ones that are coming towards you. This is so beautiful. Um... I do sense that your person, Pio One, sorry, uh, I'm getting another message here. Your person's gaining a lot of courage, um, first of all, to decide to transform. And I do, I, I don't know why I sense opening up. Your person is gaining a lot of courage to open up and show you this, this side to them that they actually always had. It's just that it was hard for them to show, but it was always there. And I do sense, Pile One, that you've gotten a glimpse of that. That's why you were so interested and still are very interested in this person. Because you've seen how they can love. Um, it pops out here and there and you're like, I know you. I see past that. <laughs> That's what I'm getting, Pile One. It's so cute. Um, we also have Will Spirit, Heart Medicine, let go of which does not serve your highest good. That is exactly what your person is doing is they're letting go of all, like what I was saying before, all that ucky stuff that was not helping them um grow that was you know all the stuff I don't know what it is that it was like it could have been thinking patterns it could have been ways of living it could have been addictions it could have been um you know overthinking it, it's just like there's so many factors um when it comes to this but they're letting that go because you know staying staying and living that way was just causing them to go through this and you because it's affecting you because you you're their partner you're their person right um and they're coming out of this denial pile one this is so beautiful oh i love this pile one i'm so happy i'm not gonna do messages today okay i know you guys love when i do messages and i absolutely love when i do messages too but i'm going to leave it at that i am gonna get you some letters though you guys want some letters let's see so who wants to show up for my pile one oh my god i got so scared because i heard someone in my house and no one was here but it's just my little sister. <laughs> I got so scared. I have my dog, so I shouldn't be scared. But I'm like, oh, who's in my house? Yeah. They just came back from the store. <laughs> That's why I stopped. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to get robbed. <laughs> when I'm doing a tarot reading. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so dumb. Okay, pile one. You just got, yeah, you got to witness being mean. so dumb. Okay. <laughs> so who wants to come through from my pile one spirit? For my pile one. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. 
I feel like we didn't get a lot of letters. Should we get some more? It's okay. Let's see. So we got an M, an A, a T, an N, a U. We got a couple N's. And if you don't see your person's name, my loves, it's not a big deal. Another O, an L. This is just extra. L, I, I, Z, K, X, E, C, C. Three L's, my goodness, how many, okay, three N's, a blank, you can make that letter whatever you want, an S, an A, another S, an H, an I, I think I said Z already. Um, yeah, my loves, what do you guys see? I don't know why I saw the name Cassie. I know we don't have a Y, but if your name's Cassie, or you can just spell it C-A-S-S-I-E. For some of you guys, I don't know why I saw that name. Um, or even with a K. Uh, <laughs> we have a P. Oh, we have a, is this a G? I think it's a C. Yeah, we have three C's. We also have a lot of ones in our letters, like one, 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 one. <laughs> um, so for a lot of you guys, one is really important. Um, and again, you guys were the 10th pile, like, you know, 10, one plus zero is one. So it's like you, you guys are going towards this new beginning pile one. Um, like you're taking that first step into the new beginning very soon. Um, for a lot of you guys, it is going to be within this year. Just so exciting. All right, my loves, if you guys want, you guys can pause it there. I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile number two, and I will see you guys later. Bye, my loves. Right pile two. So for you guys that chose this really cute green stone, again I don't know or green crystal. I don't know what it's called. Um, all right, let me get some. I don't know why I get so thirsty when I'm doing these pick cards. Okay, so how is your person feeling about you guys, Pile 1? If you guys heard someone yawn, that was my dog. <laughs> He's taking a nap. He's so cute. All right, Pile One, let me get the bottom of your deck. All right, so how is, what are your person's feelings towards you in this connection, my loves? Okay, pile two. I'm sorry if I said pile one. I meant pile two. Let's see. So pile two, there's, you know, interesting energy that's coming out here. Um, I'm asking about your person's 
your person's feelings and thoughts towards this connection. I will say, though, a lot of your energy came out th here, too. Um, whoever my feminine energy is pile two here, your energy is coming out so strongly, more so than your, than the, you know what? Well, I won't say that. No, no, it's like half and half. I am literally seeing half and half. <laughs> um, so it's quite funny. You know, sometimes that happens. It's like the divine want us to know something. Um, okay. You know what I'm sensing? pile one is there is something that happened in this connection and i do sense that for some of you guys it deal it did deal with a third party situation okay um i'm gonna clarify that card and you know what it is my loves i don't get that when i see the three of cups immediately um but in this case i am sensing that strongly pile two but you guys will know if this deals with a third party situation or not. Okay, so give me one second. Okay. So can you please clarify the three of cups, my loves? Oh, sorry, my loves. Can you please clarify this three of cups, my loves? Why does it look crooked, my loves? Hold on. There we go. Can you please clarify this, this three of cups? Okay, is that too many? Okay, for a lot of you guys, it was a third party situation. I'm going to get one more. Can you please clarify the three of cups, my loves? We have the nine of cups. Mm hmm Okay. You just, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, I am getting that. A lot of you guys, there is, um, there was a third party situation uh, involved for you guys, pile two. So... And it's like the energy got very serious right now. Um, we have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups, okay? And we're getting the Nine of Cups as well, okay? Wow, very specific energy. You know what I'm sensing, Pile 2, is that... With the Three of Cups energy, with the Three of Pentacles being here, um, you guys let me know, because I do sense that if it is a, th a third party situation that you guys know about it, okay? If there was another person involved. Um, I'm getting a very strong message here, okay, with these cards. So if this was a third party situation, um, your person went into it as like for fun is what i'm getting okay it wasn't anything serious we do have the six of cups here but i pay attention a lot to the decks that i use in imagery to clarify and obviously i wanted to clarify today with the mermaid tarot and here with the six of cups is i'm getting that it was more so like um if this is still going on it's like friendship and a lot of silliness um it's almost like your person could have been using it as a distraction for some of them i'm also getting with the nine of cups here right is that it was for more so sex sexuality um so maybe your person just wanted sex i am i'm you know what i see in, i'm very positive but i am going to be honest with what i see in the cards so your person just wanted you know this third party just to have some fun just kind of like hit it and quit it here and there you know um for a lot of you guys and then we have the three of pentacles so yeah it's it, you know that's just clarifying with the three of cups that this is in fact a third party situation when i get those two cards together that's when i see that for sure um and you know there is hurt that has gone through this connection because of it your person really messed up pile pile two i definitely see that uh, they may they messed up in a big way. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to go ahead and clarify that Ten of Swords. Can we please clarify that Ten of Swords? I know. Your person with this third party situation, my loves, um, you know what I'm also getting with the Six of Cups is that this person, this third party, okay, was meant, oh my god, yeah, you guys, the universe works in very mysterious ways, so let me just explain this to you. So I am getting that this person was meant to come into your person's life. Um, this was supposed to happen, pile three, okay, if you guys, I don't see that you guys are questioning it, but if you guys are, this was supposed to happen um, to shake up this foundation, for other reasons and I do it, it, I'm seeing that it's more so it was to like wake both of you guys up pile three honestly is what I'm getting um more so it was for your person like something had to this shakeup had to happen so my feminine could walk away um and I don't mean forever I'm going to explain as we go through because I'm getting a very intense message with you guys pile too. This is not a bad pile. It's actually very nice. But can we clarify that ten of swords, my loves? So we're getting ace of swords. And we're also getting the empress. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to tell you right now, they definitely had more feelings for you. Okay? And we have the emperor in reverse, you guys. What the heck? Give me one second, my loves, because my dog wants to go out. Give me one second, my loves. All right, my loves, I am back. So, yeah, what I was saying before, um, I won't lie to you guys. I'm always very honest in my readings, even if it's hard to hear. Um, but this was supposed to happen. Now, I do see that with this Ten of Swords being here, what ended up happening is, yes, um, my Empress got hurt here. But that's the thing, is you're the Empress. What they were fooling around with, this third person, I'm not degrading them because, you know, my loves, I actually don't look at third, I'm not going to get into that whole aspect, but I always look at who was entertaining the third party, okay? <laughs> So, you know, is it wrong when some when the third party knows about the person being in a relationship already? Yes, that is wrong. But in the end, it's, you know, it's the person that decides to entertain the third party, okay, which is your person. And I'm not I'm not saying that your person's bad. I don't see your person to be a bad person. Um Unless you guys, obviously, this is a general reading. For a lot of you guys, this is not a bad person. It's just that they made a really dumb mistake. Um, you know, and for some of you guys, for some of you guys, it's like, they weren't even doing anything. I do see that maybe there was a breakup here. Okay, pile, pile two. Um, and it's not like they, I feel like they didn't start doing anything until you guys broke up. Not that that's like any better because they like, you know, if you guys broke up and then they started doing that stuff, it's like they got into it with someone else right away. But it's like, that's how your person copes. I, I do see that pile too. Um, <laughs> so, okay, what happened with this Ten of Swords, okay, is we have the Ace of Swords. So your person, when they went through this hurt, or if they're still going through it, for a lot of you guys, your person is still going through it, they're gaining this clarity um, now that you are their Empress. You were always their Empress. The Empress is, you know how I view the Empress, is she's all the queens in one um because in, in one person because the empress is like how can i explain it to you my loves everyone looks at her as like a compassionate person a very giving person loving nurturing which she is but she's also a badass um like that's what people forget to say about the empress is she will not put up with stuff that she knows she does not deserve okay and i am getting that with this card it's as well as because she this empress here looks a little bit serious right she's like i'm not gonna take shit I don't like to cuss in my videos, I'm sorry my loves, but that's what I'm getting, is your person's like, mm-mm, um, or the feminine energy here is like, I'm not gonna take, um, any crap that I don't deserve, and it left your person feeling in the emperor in reversed energy, like, it left them feeling 
stuck. It left them feeling powerless. They're not powerful anymore um, because of what they decided to do for a lot of you guys, pile two. Okay? Um, you know, it's like your person beforehand felt like they were in control of things. Okay? I do sense that your person can be a little bit controlling at times. Um, because right now the emperor's in reverse because they went through this hurt because they hurt you and I don't think they meant it, but that's what ended up happening, right? And when that happened, it flipped their world upside down, literally, just like the emperor in reverse. Um, I do sense that pile two, your person does tend to be a little bit controlling. Like if they try to control outcomes. So, you know, pile two, you know what I'm getting is that your person was trying to like have their cake and eat it too, almost, okay? And you were like, no, I'm not going to have that, and I'm not standing for that. Um, you know, if you're not going to change, then I'm going to walk away from this connection. And, and well, so let's keep going. <laughs> um, and kudos to you, Pile 2, if that's what ended up happening, okay? I'm going to get more into this reading. We're not even close to being done, Pile 2. We have the, so let's start getting into your person's feelings, okay? Because this is like a scenario. But how is your person feeling about you in this connection now? So I will say, they've, whether this breakup was recent or not, or this heartbreak, you guys could still be together. Maybe you guys, for very few of you, you guys could be. Um, I'm more so getting with the Six of Pentacles is that your person wants to bring balance back into this connection. Your person sees that they hurt you. They know they did something wrong, but they want you in their life, pile two, okay? Your person wants you in their life really bad, actually. Um, with this Nine of Pentacles, they know that you're a very independent person. They know you're a very independent person with, like... The Empress and the Nine of Pentacles together, woof. Like, you know what it is? Is your person can't fool you, Pile 2, which is something that is so powerful and so beautiful. And your person knows that. Like, your person knows that they can't try to trick you into getting back together with them. They can't try to... Um, they know that you see right through them, okay? So it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> um... Yeah, they're really, they really want to bring balance back into this connection, though. So, let's see. We have the Page of Cups for bottom of the deck energy. We have Four of Pentacles as top of the deck, our crowning energy. So, you know what I'm seeing is your person is keeping everything in right now. This is our crowning energy. We have the Four of Pentacles. So, they're not wanting to tell you anything right now. Um, anything. Like, not how they're feeling not they're keeping this all tight to themselves especially about the third party um they probably didn't even give you the full details about that you probably just sensed it and they know that you know um even if they don't talk about it like they know that they know that you know there could still be someone there maybe they're not there anymore um but yeah overall though we have the star okay for our overall energy we have the star so there is still a lot of hope I feel that you and this person have. I feel like both of you guys have a lot of hope when it comes to this connection. Um, yeah, for sure. I definitely see that pile too, which is beautiful because you guys can definitely fix this. Again, you know, if you guys want, if you guys don't want to, please walk away. <laughs> you know, you don't have to be with someone that you don't think is worth your time and effort. Um, but if you guys do want to make it work, I do see that that can happen. With our underlying energy, we have the the Page of Cups. So your person, you know, if they haven't yet, they do want to come in with some sort of um, offer or apology because my page, of, my page of Cups is my apology card, but it's also like a very small offer. Um, like they might try to test the waters. I'm literally seeing, yeah, I am seeing that. They might try to test the waters with like maybe a, a text message or maybe like a phone call or something like that um for some of you guys i sense that you guys are not talking or if there is communication it's very little but your person has a lot to say to you pile two um they have a lot to say to you because we have the throat chakra 
okay? And that's what controls our communication. And so your person has so much to say, but right now this is their crowning energy. Four of Pentacles, they're not saying anything at all. <laughs> so I do see that, you know, this is something that they're going to have to fix. Your person wants to talk to you, Pile 2. They want to talk to you so bad. Um, but it's like they, they really have a hard time doing so. But again, our underlying energy is this page of cups. So when they do, okay, because for some of you guys, I do sense that they're going to, they're going to like gain this bravery and courage to, to do it. it. It is for a lot of you guys, it is going to be an apology, which if they did that to you, yeah, they need to apologize. <laughs> what the heck? Um, Pile two. So what is going, so what is your person thinking and feeling right now when it comes to this connection? Well, first of all, your person knows that if they come in now, they have to come in completely different. And the reason why I'm seeing that, okay, is because they now see you going on your own on your own path. That is exactly what I'm getting. And I'll tell you guys why. This is just so amazing how spirit talks, my loves. Um, you know, you know, right before I start doing these pick a cards, I do meditate and I ask them to help me channel. And it's just, it's so crazy how these cards can come together. We have, oh my God. So we have self-respect. So you know what I'm seeing is I've gotten this card, you know, in other piles, um, in the past, I'm seeing it so differently. It's crazy how I've seen this before and I get different messages every time, but you know what I'm seeing is the feminine energy right here is in her light. She is in her full, she's like in her highest vibration and she's walking this path alone towards her happiness, towards her castle. And your person sees that. Your person knows that you don't need them, okay? So I do sense that there's this fear. I think I'm going to pull more cards, um, more tarot, just because I'm curious. But your person knows that you are so powerful. Um, you have a lot of respect for yourself. So it's like if they try, you know, to test the waters and see like, oh, can I start talking to this person again? Um, I don't know. It could have been the way that you responded or something, but they know, they now know that you are not taking any shit. Again, I don't like to cuss, but that is just what I'm getting. You're like, it's either you show me that you want this or I'm not going to give it to you at all. And pile two, you know, kudos to you guys again, because you do need to know your self-worth. I talk a lot about that on my channel and on my Instagram. I think self-worth is something that's so important. And, um, you know, don't accept anything less than you don't want. And especially if you already told your person how you feel, what you expect from the connection or what you want in the connection. If they don't know, let them be. Um, but your person definitely knows that. It's like, oh my God, if I want to come back to my pile too, I need to step it up. I need to change, basically. And that's why they want to bring in this balance here. It's like now... You know, before what I'm getting is you could have been getting crumbs. Like, this is you and this was your person. Like, you literally could have been receiving crumbs when it comes, like, to emotionally. Because if you were the empress, you were definitely nurturing this connection. You were loving this connection. You were loving this person. And they were giving you crumbs. And you were like, not no more, you know? Especially, you know, and then they did their thing with a third party. Um, and now you're like, you know what? I'm going to focus on myself. If this person decides to grow, they can. And if not, I know I'm going to be okay. Um, and pile two, again, kudos to you. Whoever this energy is, whether I'm talking to a male or a feminine, you guys, ugh, amazing, amazing energy. Um, there's not a lot of people like you guys pile two. So I'm just going to tell you right now, keep going. Uh, keep going. And honestly, I do see that if your person... You know how I look at it, my loves, is like, if someone wants to be part of your life, they will show you that they're worth it. Um, and I'm not saying that in an ego type of way, because to be honest, I don't let that come in the way. Personally, me. Um, I don't have like, I don't know why I say that, but I really do believe it. Like, I don't have a lot of pride. <laughs> I'm very humble. Um, and I like to give people, you know, chances. And so if you want to give this person a chance... Go ahead and give them that chance, but, and I see you guys, pile two, you guys did something. I feel like, yeah, you definitely told this person, like, okay, it's either you're with it or you're not. Um, wow. 
And then it says, honeybee, divine feminine, you are being called on to rise. Like I said, my loves, a lot of feminine energy, so much, but also my masculine. I see a lot of blue here, right? Um, it's like 50-50. So for my feminine energy, you are on this rise. You, you're Like I was saying earlier, your vibration is so high and you're going towards your happiness no matter what. If this person wants to come in and you want to accept them back in, cool. And if not, well then, yeah, <laughs> um, you're still going to be okay. For some of you guys, if you guys are on a low, I'm not saying that for a lot of you guys, but if you guys are, you are being asked to give yourself more self-respect and to actually stand your ground and to know what it is that you want, okay? Um, yeah, I definitely see that. We also have the freedom card. It says, I possess the power and the free." wait what i possess i can't read i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness yeah you guys my goodness pile two what the heck that's exactly what you're doing is you're going towards your happiness no matter what i absolutely love this pile too and your person sees that um, I want to see what else, what else does your person have, like, their thoughts and current feelings about you? Your person knows you're powerful in a nutshell pile, too. That is what your person, um, is seeing and, like, how they're viewing you. And it makes you very attractive is what I'm seeing. Um, pile two. We have the star again. There's a lot of hope here. And I do sense it's from both of you guys. But you know what I'm getting is pile two. You're not, um, you have a lot of hope. But it's not like you're dwelling on it anymore. Like you don't, it's not that you don't care. You care about this person. Um, you have this hope here. You you know, you know what the star is too, is wishes coming true. So for a lot of you guys, if you want to be with this person, it's going to happen. But And it's going to happen because you're focusing on yourself. Like you are taking the high road and you're, you're letting this person go through whatever they have to go through and you're focusing on yourself and your person knows that. Um... It's a beautiful energy. Can I have some more cards, my loves? What else does my pile two's person want to tell them? Queen of Cups. Wow. They oh oh I love oh my you guys, six of swords. Okay, so your person is coming towards you, my loves. I'm just gonna tell you right now. Again, if you want to accept them, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Queen of Cups energy, my loves. Your person sees you as one of the most loving people that they know. They may not know a lot of other people like you. I don't see that they do. Because look at how they're viewing you. Empress. Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. You're everything. You are literally like the most perfect person. Male or female. Okay? In this person's eyes. And it's like they just can't believe that you are... That you exist like this. And that you know your self-worth. Um... Because, you know, there's a lot of people that are very sweet, but they don't know their self-worth. You know your self-worth. You're a badass pile, too, whoever's watching. Um, or if you feel like this is your person's energy pile, too, your person's a badass. Um, with such a big heart, my goodness. Yeah, look at that. It's like this person's creating magic in her cup. She's like, mm -hmm, I know I got it. <laughs> I love this so much um okay let's keep talking for some of you guys with the six of swords you know i see the black and the white so you and your person may be like polar opposites like literally opposites but you're the same where it counts okay so like this is just an example but let's say like you're really hard-headed they're not or vice versa you're not really hard-headed but they are. i see that you guys aren't because you're the queen of cups let's say you're very compassionate they might be a little bit more harsh <laughs> But when it gets to loving each other, it's like you guys fit like pieces of a puzzle. Um, you fill their cup, they fill your cup. It is so amazing. And I do sense, Pile too, that you get to see a side to your person that no one else gets to see. And again, Pile 3, I don't like to talk about third parties a lot. I don't think that they matter. <laughs> um, again, and it's not anything against this third party. Again, you know... Um, it, again, it's your person that made the mistake, right? But it, I'm not justifying this way. I'm not justifying any of their actions at all, pile two, if they hurt you, okay? So please know that. But your person was just using it to mess around. 
um, to fulfill themselves a little bit. But, you know, they're coming back. We have the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is about someone coming towards you. Um, because they saw that it only fulfilled them up to a certain point, okay? It didn't fulfill them the way that you fulfilled them, Pile 2. So again, I do see with how your energy is going, Pile, pile 2, um, we have the Two of Wands bottom of the deck. So someone, once this person comes in, once your person comes in, Pile 2, I do sense, I, blah, blah, I can't talk. I do sense this is a masculine energy coming in. Once they do, it's your decision to say, okay, yes, I want to accept this offer or no, I don't. Okay. And do what's best for you, pile two. I'm going to tell you right now, there's no, there's no wrong answer. If you say, yes, I want to try again, follow your intuition, my loves. If obviously, if you see this person's bad news, don't do it. But if your heart is saying yes, and your mind is also saying yes together, okay, if you know this person is going to treat you good and, you know, improve, go for it. And if not, or maybe you think that this person has to improve first, you may have to have that talk with them. Like, you need to change some stuff before I allow you back into my life. You can tell them that too. But there is going to be a decision that has to be made with this two of wands here. I am seeing that, my loves, okay? So... I'm just letting you guys know that if you guys want to make it work, you can. And if not, you're going to be happy regardless. I have that in these cards, that energy. Um, keep going, honeybee. You guys are so cute. I love this. Beautiful energy. Let's get some charms, yeah? Let me get my cards. I want to make sure they're all upright, yeah. Congratulations, Pile 2. It is so hard to go through this type of heartbreak. It is so hard um, to go through this type of heartbreak. Any heartbreak, but especially when you know there was someone else involved. That, that hurts, doesn't it? Um, or if your person was being sneaky, that hurts so much. But um, you guys are definitely doing it. So proud of you guys. Who wants to show up for my Pile 2? And again, my loves, if you want to accept this person back into your life, there's, please don't, I do feel to say, I do feel called to say this. If you want to, don't let other people interfere with your decisions. Don't let your friends interfere. Don't let your parents or, um, gosh, uh, whoever, okay? If you, it doesn't have to make sense to anyone but you. But again, make sure, make sure that you're making the decision for yourself. And also don't make the decision based on, because you're afraid to be alone. Don't do that. Which pile two, I'm going to say, I don't see you guys feeling like that because you guys are so independent. But for a few of you guys, if you feel like that, don't, yeah, don't make a decision because you're afraid that you won't ever end up with this person or that you're afraid of being alone and you want to be in a connection. Don't do that. If you're going to say yes to this person, do it because you truly love them and you know that it's the right thing for you and that you feel like you guys will grow together, um, which is possible. But yeah, my loves. So let's see. We have a D. We have a C. We have an S. We have an H an M, we have an L, a B, an E, an A, we have another A, a W, another W, an I, a U, an N, an R, a T, an F, a T, a D, an L, an O, an R, an N, a P, an E, an F, an O, a K, a D, a, a C, an L, and an I. Okay. What do you guys see? And I think this is supposed to be a Y. Yeah, it is. It's just, it's torn. <laughs> so that's a Y. What do you guys see, my loves? You guys can pause it. I'm trying to see. Do you guys see your person's initials? Are you... I see the word first. I don't know why that's coming to my mind. First. Like you're their first option is what I'm getting. 
Um, I'm really bad at this. Yeah, my loves. Well, I'm going to let you guys pause that and, and um, yeah, see what you guys see. But with that, I'm going to go on to pile three, okay, my loves? And I will see you guys later. Bye, my loves. Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, God. Why does it look like that? All right, pile three. So for you guys that show that show <laughs> that chose the shark tooth um, crystal, let's see how your person is feeling about this connection in you. So we have the Queen of Swords, the Hierophant, the King of Wands, Six of Swords. And then let's look at our um, oracle. <sighs> All right, my love. So how is your person um, feeling about... Oh, let me get the bottom of your deck. Feeling about you and this connection. So, you know what I'm seeing, pile three? Give me one second. Wow, beautiful energy, pile three. Beautiful energy. I absolutely love this. Okay, let's talk about it. So... Mm-hmm. Okay, pile three. So we have the Queen of Swords here, okay? So I do see that someone right now, someone could be a little cold. I'm actually going to clarify this card, but you know more so what I'm getting is someone is standing their ground with the Queen of Swords being here. Um, she can be a little cold. Uh, I am going to clarify. Actually, let me clarify it right now. Sometimes I don't clarify it until later, but I just kind of feel like clarifying right now. What is this Queen of Swords, my loves? So I can give you guys a more accurate, accurate reading. What is this quick queen of swords, my loves? Ace of swords. Five of pentacles. One more. One more card for the five of pentacles, my loves. The star, wow. Yeah. Okay, four pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right, my loves. Okay, so you know what I'm getting, my loves, with for the Hierophant, it's being clarified by the Ace of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Star. I do see that whoever my feminine, or it doesn't matter. I'm I'm more so picking up a feminine energy. Um, but there, there could be a little bit of cold, coldness right now, but for a lot of you guys, I'm not actually not seeing that. I'm seeing that you did, um, you're standing your ground, but in a good way. Um, you got this like sort of clarity that whoever my feminine energy is here was giving a lot of, um, was giving a lot to this connection. And someone wasn't wanting to take it. And you're, you're getting that clarity now. Um, and it's making you feel in your power. So basically what I'm getting is you got that clarity. And you're like, okay, you know what? I'm going to ask for what I deserve and what I want here. Um, and that's exactly that's exactly what you're doing is what I'm getting after you got this, this clarity. Some of you guys may have not told your person about this. Okay. Um, 
yeah, maybe you haven't opened up completely, but you've had this clarity about how imbalanced this connection was. We also, like again, we have this Five of Pentacles, so it's like you've tried to offer this person something and they could have rejected you in the past or told you like, I'm not sure, I don't want this, okay? Um, but now you know what you want. You have this clarity now from that and you know what you want which is beautiful. And you have hope. You have hope for yourself. You also have hope for this connection. But you know what I'm seeing is that um, whatever you said to this person has them really thinking. We have the King of Wands here. So the King of Wands is someone that is very passionate about their person. Um, so your person's very passionate about you in this connection. They do want to come towards you. But this King of Wands is like sitting here thinking. They look very serious with the with the wand in their hand. So you know what I'm sensing is I don't know what you told this person, but you're really having them think. I'm almost getting like, you know that Oracle card, the thinking man? That's what this is making me think of. Like you have them thinking now about <laughs> what it is. Um, you know what? Let's clarify. I am so curious. Pile, pile three let's see there's so many lessons being learned right now too because the hierophant here for a lot of you guys um pile three the hierophant you know you could have um there is a lot of lessons being learned right now but what i'm getting is like the divine is definitely watching over you guys, Pile 3, and this connection. I'm also getting that this could involve marriage later on. For some of you for some of you guys that do want that. I am picking that up. But okay, can you clarify the King of Wands, my loves? What what is this Queen of Wands? We have oh my god, King of Wands. <laughs> no way, you guys. Okay. When you get repeating cards, it's because spirit wants... Okay, the Empress. Oh my god, you guys. What beautiful messages. One more card. <laughs> we have... Oh my god, King of Pentacles. You really have your person thinking. And Nine of Wands. Okay, you guys. I'm going to tell you right now. Your person, and I feel like you as well, have been um getting synchronicities from the universe that you guys are meant to be and that this connection is faded faded um by the divine i with the nine of wands i'm getting i'm getting multiple things but i'm so sorry my loves my dog is i don't know <laughs> he's so cute um Oh my, I don't know what you guys did to this person, Pile 3, but you got them thinking with whatever you said. And I do sense that you told them something um, with the Queen of Swords being here. You stood your ground, you said something, and now it's almost like you're letting them think about it. Because we have King of Wands, the Empress, King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is, a, is someone that comes in very um, secure. They know what they want. They come in with security, something stable to offer. Very loyal people. I mean, very, very loyal. Um, I think he's even wearing this ring or something on his finger. That's so crazy. So this person wants to be committed to you. We have the Empress coming up, okay? So they think about you constantly, my loves. They're very passionate about you. Um, the Empress, again, is the way... I know you guys heard me say this before, but she's... Um, I say she because it's a girl on the card, but my Empress can be a guy as well. It can be a guy or a girl. Gender energies don't... It, gender doesn't matter when it comes to energies, okay? But they're very nurturing, very compassionate. They have it all. Like, I feel like sometimes... You guys have heard me say this too. The Empress is almost sometimes just looked at as like, oh, that's the nice person. You know, they're compassionate, they're loving. But we have to remember that the Empress is a badass, okay? Like, <laughs> um, they don't take shit, okay? I know I don't like to cuss in my readings, but it's just that's the energy. The Empress, you need to, people need to remember that that's her energy as well. Yes, she's very compassionate, very nurturing, but she knows her self-worth. Almost like this Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is part of the, you know, the Empress is all the, like, queens in one is what I see. It's just that her compassion and her kindness comes out through a lot more. But don't mistake, don't underestimate the Empress. They know their worth. And your person knows that you know, that, that my feminine knows their worth. 
um, this person, whoever I'm talking about, Pio 3, they know that you know that. So now they're wanting to come in, like, you got them thinking, <laughs> like, should I come in like this or what? Um, and they're very passionate about you. You got the king of wands twice, my loves. Yeah, they find you very attractive. My goodness, very, very attractive. Your person I'm sensing is actually very attractive, pile three. Um, if we are talking about a guy, okay, pile three, I'm sensing that they are very attractive. Yeah, just throwing it out there. <laughs> I am getting that with the card. That's what's coming through. Um, and we have a nine of wands at the bottom of the deck with that. So, you know, your person is thinking about coming in with a stable offer because they know that they have such strong feelings for you. Okay. They know that. For some of you guys, for some of you guys, I'm picking up that there may be competition. Like maybe your person doesn't know or they do know, but there could be two guys that are fighting over you. I don't know why I said guys, I'm sorry. There could be two other people in your life, pile three, that are fighting over you. Um, not fighting. It's like, you know what it is, is your person could be scared. Oh my God, why are so many messages coming through? Spirit, hold on. <laughs> I'm getting bombarded. Um, pile three, your person is a little scared. You have them thinking because they're scared that someone's going to come take you away. Someone that is more stable. Not saying that the King of Wands... The King of Wands has a lot of emotion and is very passionate. But they're afraid that someone that can offer more stability is going to come steal you. That is a message that came through. I don't know why I got that. I don't know what Spirit's trying to do. <laughs> but for some of you guys, your person is a little scared about that. Um, and we have the Nine of Wands. So your person does want to come towards the, they want to come towards this. Um, they like want to persevere. That's what the nine of ones is about. And it's like, they want to take it step by step, which pile three, don't ever rush anything. Um, I see that if you're one of, if your person wants to do this, this is a good thing. Taking step by step is, is a good thing, especially if there was some sort of heartbreak here or like a, if you guys aren't talking a lot or you guys are starting to build this connection again, take it step by step. That's totally fine. You guys don't have to jump because I do see you guys are very attracted to each other. You guys do have a lot of passion for each other, Pio 3. So if you guys decide to start this connection again, um, it's okay to take it step by step, you know? This is beautiful. We, so, okay, we have the Six of Swords. <laughs> Your person wants to come towards you, okay? Definitely. Your person really, really wants to come towards you, pile three. Um, yeah, they're traveling towards you. They're finally thinking, okay, I need to come towards more positivity. That is what the Six of Swords is all about. It also talks about coming towards someone, right, when we're doing a love reading. So I do see that your pe your person is deciding to come towards you. It's just, it may take them a little bit of time because there's lessons being learned here, pile three, okay? We have the chariot. So, oh, as our underlying energy, which is so beautiful, pile three, what the hell? <laughs> You guys are going to overcome any obstacles. For you guys, Pile 3, that, like, you do decide that you want to continue with this person, um, you guys are going to be able to overcome any ugly stuff that has occurred during this relationship. If there's been trust issues, if there's been fights, if there's been anything at all, you guys are going to overcome them. Um, yeah, I, I already see that. If you guys want to do that, it, it's, it's going to happen top of the deck energy we have five of cups so currently someone right now and this is your person um is feeling a lot of regrets for some of you guys it is a feminine energy but for most of you guys i am picking up that it's a masculine energy that's feeling regrets um about this connection something that happened in this connection something that happened here that they're very regretful for actually i want to um clarify that what are, what's the five of cups all about hey there's too many <laughs> what is this five of cups all about my loves ten of wands yeah whatever these regrets are it's really weighing on your person 
death. Okay. You guys didn't want to tell me what the regrets are. What are they? It's whatever spirit wants to tell me, my love. <laughs> I don't get to decide. Four cups. Okay, I know what it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Bottom of the deck, three of swords. So they finally told me. I thought they weren't going to tell me. <laughs> um, I don't force spirit to tell me certain things. But So what the regret is here, my loves? Well, first of all, this is how it's making them feel. So it's making them feel very burdened because this is our crowning energy. So it's sad. It's just like this is what they continue to think about, unfortunately. Um, your person does eventually have to move on past this. Or maybe you continue to think about it, pile three. Um, whoever this is. I'm not saying this happens overnight, but there does have to be maybe some forgiveness here. If you already forgiven your person, then this is your person going through it. For a lot of you guys, I feel like this is your person. Um, they're wanting change. We have the death card. So this is so sad. This death card is like all these animals are dying. So it's like your person feels like they killed this connection literally and they feel so bad. Because again, another whale, another animal dying with a three of swords, they hurt you really bad. Some of you guys, it could have been third party, okay? It doesn't have to be, but um, something happened here where they hurt you. Um, yeah. So the biggest regret, my loves, well, first of all, it is that they hurt you, okay? I don't, and you know what, Pile 3? I don't feel like your person's a bad person. You know what I'm sensing is that they were lonely and they did something dumb. <laughs> Um, cause we have the three cups here. So for some of you guys, I am seeing it was a third party situation, like the three of cups. Pile two is actually about a third party. So if you are in one, you might want to check that out. But yeah, I am seeing that your person was like lonely. And so maybe they just, there's also like, yeah, I don't know. They could have like hung out. I don't know. I don't know what they did. I'm not going to get deep into that, but it's like your person decided to do something dumb and now they're paying for it and they're regretting it a lot because they know it doesn't make them happy. You make them happy. Um, but one of the biggest things that they regret is I see that you offered them a cup. You offered your love to them and it looks like they said no at one point. And now they have to pay for it. Or they feel like they have to pay for it. Um, I feel like some of them, for whatever reason, I don't know why I'm picking this up, Pile 3, but it's like they could be feeling ashamed of themselves. So much so that it's stopping them from coming towards you. Because now they may feel like, I don't deserve Pile 3's love. Um, some of you guys, your person is drinking their problems away. For some of you guys, that's not gonna... That's not going to relate to all of you guys. They might send you a, like a drunk text message or call you drunk or something. But your person's really going through it, Pile 3. Um, oh, God. Yeah. They have a lot of burdens right now because of it. That is the crowning energy, which is sad. But look at what they feel. They want to come towards you, Pile 3. Their emotions, their feelings, they want to come towards you. And I do believe that they're going to because, again, our underlying it energy is the chariot this is overcoming obstacles this is overcoming fears and you know going against our demons this is so beautiful um and you your oracle just explains that this person is going to come towards you which is so nice but um overall energy we're talking about the nine of pentacles so <laughs> this is definitely your energy my loves but your person sees you as someone that's very independent they know that you know you don't need them. If they were to come into your life, it's because they're going to add to it, okay? Um, that could also be why they, they're kind of scared is because they know that you're in an independent place now. Um, they know that you know your self-worth, that you know what you deserve, and you're not going to take anything less than that. Um, so they're very aware of that. This is the overall energy. And so now you got them thinking, like, what what do I do? How do I come forward? How do I talk to my pile three? Um, how, like, how can I show up for them? You have them thinking all these questions. Um, and it's so beautiful because I feel like, I don't know why I'm sensing that this person just made a mistake. And pile three, um, 
I don't mean, by saying that, I don't mean to underestimate if they made you feel bad or if they broke your heart. I'm not saying that with validating what they did. Please don't think that I'm saying that ever. I'm not. Uh, I'm just saying that I don't think your person is a bad person for the majority of you guys. Use your intuition. These are general readings. If you feel like your person's bad news, if they're toxic towards you, if this relationship is toxic in any way, then leave, okay? You don't have to allow anyone into your life that you don't want. Um, or just you maybe for some of you guys, I was picking that up earlier, that you need to tell your person what it is that you want. Like, you know, you, you may have to say, yes, I do love you, but you know, it's I can't have you if it's not like this, or I can't have you if we're not going to work on this, this, and this, or if you change this, something like that. I am picking up for some of you guys, you have to do that. The only reason why I picked that up is because um, we had the Queen of, Queen of Swords with, with these cards. Um, the Star, the Five of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Oh, I remember now. It's because um, when I pulled these three cards at the bottom of the deck, I didn't take it out, but the bottom of the deck was the Four of Pentacles, and that's someone holding things in. So someone here, Pile 3, the feminine energy here, may be... Um, you guys may be standing your ground, but you're still, you haven't spoken of what it is that you want from your person. And some of you guys need to do that. Not all of you guys, okay? So if that message isn't resonating with you, then please just don't pay attention to it. But some of you guys, if you do get to contact your person or they contact you, you guys start talking, you may need to tell them like, you know, this is what I need from the connection. And if you can't offer that, that's okay. Um, And, you know, you guys take it from there. Um, but yeah, pile three. Or And it doesn't, when I say that, I'm not saying that that has to come overnight. It doesn't have to, right? Transformation takes time for sure. Um, but at least voice what it is that you're feeling for some of you guys, pile three. Because your person's not a mind reader. <laughs> um, again, that was only for some of you guys. So let's get into your oracle. We have new beginnings, which is so nice. So I'm getting two messages with this. Some of you guys, I'm almost getting almost like the fool type energy. Someone's taking a risk, okay? For some of you guys, it is my female energy. Uh, my, femi my female, why did I say female? I'm so sorry. My feminine energy. Again, that doesn't have to be a female. That can also be a male. Um, but my feminine energy here is taking a risk to take a step forward um, on their own, okay? While you let this person fix it as what they need to fix. For others of you guys, I see that this whole connection is starting a new beginning. Um, I, I'm, I'm actually seeing that second message overall for everyone, for the collective here, Pile 3. Um, the collective in Pile 3, I, I, I should say, is most of you guys... Um, if you do accept this person back into your life and this person works on themselves, there's this beautiful new beginning that is going to blossom after change comes in. And it's going to be beautiful. I, I can already see that because look, we have the silver waterfall. It's so dreamy, isn't it? This card, it has like the rainbow, the beautiful waterfall. This um, female is underneath, this girl's underneath the water and like showering. You know what the silver waterfall is? is? It's like releasing anything bad that no longer serves you. This is what this card is all about. It's about releasing, um, releasing everything that no longer serves you, my loves. And I feel like that's what a lot of my feminine energy is doing here. Is you guys, once you do, again, for some of you guys that haven't talked, once you, like, talk to your person and tell them what it is that you want and expect, um, you're going to feel so good. Because you're going to feel like, okay, I said what I said. I can move forward now. Um, and for some of you guys that are deciding, you know, to go on your own path, um, yeah, you're going to be very fruitful, pile three. I am telling you that right now. Um, regardless whether you allow this person into your life or not, you guys are going to be either fruitful together or not. It's totally up to you, Pile 3, and it's going to be different for everyone. Um, wow. But you know what, Pile 3? I'm really getting the sense that you guys, you do want this person because you're the Empress. You're the sweet Empress. Yeah. 
And I am getting that for the Empress. I don't know why I'm seeing that. There, there is more eyes on you than you think, Pile 3. Maybe you've gotten asked out recently. Um, and your person senses it. Yeah. We also have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. I love this so much. You know what I'm getting is this is your person's energy because I do see them changing um, because this is what they're thinking to do eventually, okay? It's like I was telling Pile 1, change does not happen overnight. It might not even happen in a month. It's different for everyone, my loves. It really is. Um, you know, it can happen before the end of this year, but that's still a few months away, right? So you have to let this person change. Focus on yourself. But... Um, when it says doubt, I release the need to know all the answers. It's like, it's like your person, um, you know, if they're wanting to come towards you with this king of pentacles and king of wands, which not if they are, this person is thinking about that pile three. There's no doubt about it. But for them that are, yeah, they're thinking to come towards you in this manner, in this more serious, more uh, loyal, as a more loyal person, a uh, person that's more secure, that wants to bring in security and commitment, um, they're finally accepting that they, they don't have to know what lies ahead. It's like they really are taking this leap of faith. For a lot of you guys, this is what your person's going to do, is this new beginning. They're going to say, okay, and here we go. <laughs> Pile three, some of you guys may be dealing with the feminine. Maybe this is their energy where they're the ones that screwed up. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I released the need to know all the answers, which is so beautiful. I love that. So your person, you know, went from, you know, they could have been having a lot of doubts in the beginning and now they're not. They're moving away from that. Um, again, they're leaving behind what no longer serves them. Because this is your person's feeling. So your person is f leaving behind all the ucky stuff that no longer served them. That could have been a way of living, a way of thinking, um, people in their lives that no longer served them. They just were having them there just because people that bought them down. It, it, it's going to be different for everyone, my loves. But um, yeah, I do sense that maybe you're... Because it says, I release the need to know all the answers. So maybe your person felt more comfortable if they did have to know all the answers beforehand. Um, but now they're just trusting and going with the flow. We also have butterfly emerging. Take a leap of faith. Wow. With this new beginnings and silver waterfall, I am getting that they're almost kind of like pile one. A very, two very different messages, but this is the same message, is there is going to be this huge change and transformation where eventually this person if and you, if you guys do allow them back in your life, because I do see them coming towards you. So right now, maybe you guys aren't in a connection or aren't talking or there's maybe a little pause or something. I see that this person is going to come towards you. And um, again, if you allow them to, there is going to be this new beginning that blossoms. Your person is going to take that leap of faith, is going to gain the courage to tell you how they feel and come towards you in this beautiful energy, this king of pentacles and king of wands energy together. So being very sexually attracted to you, um, you know, sh like giving you a lot of love and, and being serious about this this time, this time around, taking you serious because they know that you take yourself seriously as well, which is so beautiful, my loves. Um, wow, pile three, nice. Let's get some initials, yeah? So let's see, who wants to come through for my pile three? Oh my God, did I pull too many? I hope I didn't. Okay, let's see. Is she what we got? We got an L, an I, an R. We got a W, an F, a B, a K, an I, an R, another I, an N, a P, an A. You know what I just saw? <laughs> I saw a liar. <laughs> e. Maybe your, your person could have been a little sneaky or like lied in the past to you. D, T, 
O and S. I also saw the word library. I don't know why, even though there's no Y here, but sometimes I see words, so maybe a library is significant to you guys. I don't know. That's blank. You can make that whatever you want. A D, an M, an E. I have a few E's. I should put them all together. T, another I. Didn't I have an L? Yeah, right here. We have two F's, two L's. Oh my god. Why do I have so many I's? One, two, three, five I's and R. You know what I, this is, this is going to sound so corny, but you know how I said there's a lot of, or more eyes on you than you think, and you guys have like a lot of eyes. Like I know it's the letter I, but like saying it like I, <laughs> like you guys have a lot of eyes on you. You guys do pile three, and I think your person senses it, like your person knows that you look really good, because I forgot to talk about the nine of pentacles, she's right here, right? Yeah, nine of pentacles knows that they got it going on, um, yeah. Like, they attract people, obviously, like, because of their physical features, but also because they are so um, independent and in their power that it just attracts people to them. Um, and I feel like your person senses that. That's so funny. Um, yeah, my loves. So, I don't know why I just got funds. Some of you guys, your person could be struggling with funds, or maybe you are. I see doctor. Is someone studying for medical school? <laughs> All right, I'm done. Because <laughs> I am seeing too many now. Um, I also see brilliant. All right, my loves. I'm going to leave it at that. You guys, um, pause it if you need to. But I will be back with another reading in a couple of days. Okay, my loves? I will see you guys next time. Bye.